Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 025. On my website you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 025. Task briefing. The world is full of anonymous quotes. Several were written in the unidentified building seen below. Your task is to A. Locate the building and B. Find a quote containing the word anarchy. So notice one, there's no anarchy in this sentence, but there's an additional quote inside the same building. You need to find it. I hope the rules are clear in this anarchy themed exercise. I have marked this exercise level as medium difficulty for beginners and easy for experts. Just to clarify, the second task is actually easy once you solve the first one, but because they're so interlinked, I marked them both with the same difficulty level. That's it. You can click here to open the photo on a new tab. So here you go, much bigger. So the first task is a geolocation. So let's just start by analyzing the image, right? That is always the first step. We see an indoors location. We know it's part of a building because I mentioned in the task briefing, there's a wall and there's a quote which reads, in a society that has abolished all adventure, the only adventure left is to abolish that society. Love a bit of anarchy. Anyway, we see a lot of debris. If we zoom in here, here we go, I'm going to zoom here, we may even see what appears to be a dead rat. Look at that little surprise. <laughs> it had clearly been dead for weeks, possibly even a few months prior to this photo depending on the time of the year, the type of weather in this part of the world and so on. We can also see a couple of old computer towers. So there's one here. Oh my God, zooming in and out. Here is one here and there is one here. There are many rusted metal structures all over the place. You can see there, you can see there's a lot of rust going on. This indicates that they have been oxidizing for quite some time. We're talking about months, maybe even years. Again, it depends on where this is located in the world. For example, if we're near salt water, like an ocean coast or something, metal rusts faster because of the salt in the air. Probably not too relevant, just little details to know. It's good to get used to noticing and analyzing everything, even dead rats. Anyway, the ceiling is charred, which tells us there has been a fire in this location at some point. See how black everything is here. This is clear fire damage. We don't see any targeted structural damage to the walls, to the ground, even on this pillar here. So we can deduct the fire was not a result of an explosion, for example, at least not in the visible area. That's it. So overall, we can infer this building has been abandoned for years prior to this photo. So at this point, there are two paths or two methods, whatever you want to call it, we can employ in order to get more information on this building. So so we can move forward with the geolocation. The first one is to focus on the overall image and do an image reverse search in the hopes of finding other maybe similar photos of the area that can lead to information about the location. This method will be absolutely useless in this case. Maybe you were lucky to me or maybe by the time you're watching this video the algorithm has improved. Who knows? At the moment it is useless and I'll quickly show you. So I'm going to do an image reverse search on the four main websites I have on my Chrome extension. So reverse image search. You'll search for images on Google, Bing, Yandex and Tinai. So here we go, all four of them at the same time. And it'll start with Tinai here. And I'm going to sort by oldest because I'm interested in that. How old is this picture? It says the photo was first found. I'm zooming in. First found January 30, 2010 and links to some dodgy website. Don't click on this website. In fact, almost all the links on this page are dodgy apart from DVDart. DVDart is not dodgy, but it's not going to lead you anywhere because it's gone possibly because it was not their photo, so they shouldn't have been posting it. Anyway, next, Yandex. This one really depends on your experience because I tried a few times. In some instances, I got one, one very useful result. 99% of the times I just got this. So we have a lot of results here. You can see all the way there. They mostly will just lead you to wallpaper, websites, inspirational posts and stuff like that. Use this. Anyway, this one will lead you to Twitter. So if you click on it, it'll just lead you to Twitter. I'm not going to click on it, but it's still the same picture. The dead right is still there as well. <laughs> and if you close that, but none of these pictures are going to lead you to the correct building. So waste of time as well. <laughs> Next we have Bing. So let's check it out. Bing will have here a blog entry. It just has photos that someone compiled and all the pages here with this image. So if you click on it, it'll be five of them. So this one has two to Reddit. All of them useless. Absolutely none of them is going to lead you to the correct location of this. In fact, none of them mentions any location whatsoever. And lastly, to disappoint us, we have Google. <laughs> 
you can click there see exact matches there's quite a decent list of results but none of them is going to be useful in any way whatsoever again maybe you're luckier than me i don't know okay so we know that this photo has been online since at least 2010 at least that's what teen eye claims and 14 years and counting are a lot of years on the internet and by now it has been used and reused we've seen that <laughs> on a ridiculous amount of websites so in situations like this image reverse search will be a very frustrating method and that's exactly why i created this exercise obviously so in order to geolocate this photo we'll need to use the second path remember i said there was two paths this was a useless one so we're going to focus on something else which is in front of us so let me just go back again it's in front of us and it's not the dead rat but it's still he is keeping his company yeah i'm talking about the quote because it's entirely possible and very likely that when people upload this photo online they put this sentence as a heading a caption image description etc so it would have been indexed somewhere so let's search for it using quotation marks so here we go done as expected all the top results are from social media we have reddit facebook pinterest instagram tumblr and so on so on so on this photo has definitely done the round but let's look at the images instead let's check them out something you may have noticed is that some of these photos are slightly different than the one we saw on osin exercise 025 so i'm going to open one to compare i'm going to put them side by side so i'm going to pick this one so this is the one we have and this is slightly different i'm going to open this one and i'm going to put them side by side so we can compare it here we go so we have the new photo from facebook and we have a photo from the osint exercise 025 and you can see the difference in them starting with the angle that they were taken you can also see that there is no debris so we can see some debris here near the wall it's not there anymore you can see this one has more damage there to the to this one has no damage there and this one has more damage there on the pipe this one the pipe is still quite good there's no damage just above the pipe and so on so there's a few little differences that make it clear that this photo has more damage therefore this is more recent than this one right so at this point we have two paths again there's so many paths on this thing i have solved this exercise in so many different ways so i'm trying to summarize it all in case you chose one of these paths so it makes sense to you so the first path we're going to take is going to be there remember on the search results we put there the quote with quotation marks and there are a few results and one of them is this one from a website called stephanie avery and if you pay enough attention you realize that this picture is now different than the other two we just compared so you can see here the metal structure is still near the wall so it's closer to the date of the osint exercise 025 photo but there are a few key differences and i'm going to quickly just show you it's going to be super fast i swear so if you pay attention to the s here so see the s there's some damage right in the middle and it's there's no damage there on the s it's close to whoop let me zoom in a bit it's close to the s but it has expanded on this photo so this photo is more recent than this photo but less recent than this there's so many photos tiny details i love it anyway let's go back to this website because i want to talk about this website so if you click on it say stephanie avery you click on the website it's a website of someone who's selling photos possibly they took the photos themselves and here it is the photo and look at that what does it say here abandoned computer factory rochester usa we have a partial location so we have the city we have the country and it says abandoned computer factory and in cases like this i just go you know what google i can't be asked to search for it just you do it you do it tell me where is this and it just does and it's like oh look at that inside the abandoned sykes datatronics building okay if google thinks this is it maybe this is it i don't know and it has an abandoned building it says a location you can see there's a lot of photos of it some of it inside it does look similar so we have a few pillars that we recognize a lot of fire damage all this peeling as well and so on there's a problem though oh there's a quote there but there's a problem it's not our quote quote it says something this office was a prison for our brothers and sisters in wage slavery let's and you cannot see the rest but anyway the photo from osin exercise 025 is not here we cannot see that exact quote and so on it ends so that's the problem because we need evidence so remember earlier when i say we have two paths i've said this so many times at this point i'm not sure how many paths are there anymore but we had two at some point i mentioned two so we have explored this one remember so we went to the stephanie every website and we got this but there was another way in case you did not get here as a result because i'm not sure what kind of results you got in case you didn't see 
this result here, there was another way to get to this Sykes Datatronics building. So remember earlier we did an image reverse search, it was absolutely useless, got us nowhere. However, we now have different pictures. Remember this picture is different than this picture and it is different than this picture. So they're very tiny differences, but because they're still different in some way, they will yield different results, even when that difference is absolutely minimal, like in this case. So we're not going to use this photo, we're going to use this photo from Facebook. Remember, I still have it open here. So I'm going to open again and I'm going to do an image reverse search. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going straight to Google, just easier. That's it. And we're going to do what we've done before, see exact matches. And it's going to be a list and just need to scroll down more and scroll down. It's a bit boring more and scroll down again. And is this the last one? I think this is the last one, maybe. Yes. Okay. So this is the last one. So you may have noticed that some of these have dates. So 2015, 2017, 2009, that's very early, 2010 and so on. So remember how according to Tin Eye, the oldest one was from 2010. We already see that there are a couple of them that says 2009. So let's see if we can go 2008. Anything earlier? No, it says not 2009. Okay. So there are two results from 2009. Let me zoom this a bit. So we have one that says exploring Sykes Datatronics. Remember, same name of that building. It's a sign. Anyway, so we have this result and this one. And they're both from the same website. This is October 11, 2009. This is October 11, 2009. In fact, if you click both, it's going to end up on the same place. For some reason, they have different links. Anyway, brilliant. Okay, so it says here, Sykes Datatronics was a successful computer manufacturer in the 80s, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's great. We knew that. Rochester, New York. Okay, we have come across something like that as well before. And it says here, the building has been unoccupied, suffered damage from a number of fires over the years. We have seen that evidence as well. So that is brilliant. So we just need now, <laughs> photo to confirm that quote was inside a building because again look the pillar is similar the floor is similar there's damage there's peeling green stuff everywhere i just need the photo where is the quote okay we see a quote again and this is a lot more damaged than the other ones we've seen so this is like photo number four that's different than the other ones but Again, this is just a quote. I just need one photo where you can see the rest of the building and the quote as well. I need evidence. But now we can get it because now we have additional data we did not have at the beginning. Now we have the name of the building. So we're going to copy here Sykes Datatronics. I'm going to open Google and put that in quotes and see what we get. Great, so there's a few links we have clicked already. So remember this one, Rochester Subway. We found this when we were looking at that picture that was for sale on the Stephanie Avery website. So here we go, we have the building. Again, it does not have the photo of the quote. Then we have the one we just opened. So it's this one here. But now we have this one from Flickr. I'm interested. So in case you don't know, Flickr is a website for photographers to showcase their portfolios. So we're going to check this album. It's clearly called Sykes Datatronics. Very promising. Here we go. Going to this, the album has 58 photos inside. I see a lot of the building outside again, a few of the building inside. Again, all very similar data stuff, computers, very old peeling paint, damage from fire, all of it, exactly what we're looking for. You can see a beginning of a quote, remember this quote, where was it? It was on this one, but we had only seen part of it. Where is it? It's here. So we didn't see the rest of this quote. So we can actually read, what does it say? It says, this office was a prison for our brothers and sisters in wage slavery. Let's make it a carnival for our brothers and sisters in anarchy. We have found the quote. So task number two was complete before we even completed number one. <laughs> Here we go. Anarchy. Love it. Let's go back though. We're not done yet. Let's go back to the album and let's keep scrolling in the hopes of finding a photo with the actual quote inside of it on the wall. I want that. Okay, brilliant. We have the quote. Again, we have seen this is the very damaged picture, but if you scroll up and you click this one, it's there. It's there. So exciting. Okay. We have located the quote on a wall inside this building. Everything matches. We have enough evidence at this point. This is the correct 
building, we just need to geolocate it. And that is going to be very, very easy because if you are paying attention on this website, scrolling again, up and down, up and down all the time. Anyway, there is here, it says the empty structure, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually read what I'm talking about. The empty structure sits on Orchid Street, Orchard, Orchid, I don't know how to read that, just south of Leal Avenue. I also don't know how to read that but has the link. You click on the link and it takes you to Google Maps. This is literally the easiest geolocation you've ever done on my website. Look at that. It literally just links you to the place and not just that, it links you to the correct date. So if you see more dates, this is from May 2012. If you see from July 2022, it's gone. This building has been demolished. Here you go. Surprise. Sorry about that. I bet the dead right was very sad. If you go back May 2012, you can see it's here. So this building does resemble a lot the one we've seen around. Let me go back to the album, back and forth all the time. Anyway, there you go. So if you go up, here you go. You have a lot of pictures of the building on the outside of the building. Also on this one, pictures of the outside, which does indeed match. And it even says here, Sykes. Datatronics, I mean, at least part of the word Datatronics, Inc. And if you want to see this on a map, there'll be a problem because it has been demolished. So what happens now? You go back to the map and it just goes to that. So that's not very useful because it doesn't have a marker, but that's fine because it's still on the URL. So you can see here the coordinates are still there, even though there's no marker. I'm not sure why it doesn't have a marker. It would be very useful, but you can just copy, paste it. Here we go and bam, we got a location. So now, obviously, we don't see the building because the marker is on the street for some reason. So we're going to get these coordinates. We're going to go to Google Earth Pro. We're going to drop it and we're going to search for it and see if we're going to end up in Rochester, New York, which we know we will. So here we go. So you can see the building is not there as we expect. And you can click here at the top. There's a little clock and you're going to be able to go back in time. So you're going to move this all the way to 2011. 13. Oh, 13 is a good one. Look at that. You can see the building. 2013, 2014, and then 2015 is gone. So that's more or less when it was demolished. And here we go. We have confirmed the building was here. We have confirmed that inside the building was that quote. We have located the building. We also located the second quote, kind of almost by accident. It was not an accident, but we have done it. And that is it. We are done. OSINT exercise 25 is complete. Have a great week. Leave a comment. I like reading them. And if you have any other anarchy theme quotes, then leave them as well in the comments. I also like them. Bye bye.